Um, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles, that great millstone that taught us his truth and that rule well. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect and to the few women and children that do follow in sincerity and truth and in order. So since judgment against the evil work is not executed speedily, it is set fully set in the hearts of men to do evil. You know, the Alashaja of the terrible power. And that's and pe people forgot, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Shai is a man of war. Alright? He is a man of great mercy, but also a man of great judgment. According to the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, the 16th chapter and 11th verse. Okay? Because it, it tells you in there, it says, It is a marvel if a man do a wicked act and he escape unpunished. Okay? Now, I say this to say that Jake is going to realize that the Most High is not playing with them, man. When he starts, you know, uh, when he starts executing his judgment upon the face of the earth, which he's doing little by little, but there's going to be a time where it's done at a mass scale, and then Jake is going to be turned into believers, man, because it is a wicked and adulterous generation. All right, but this is the thing that even before us, the holy prophets, as the scripture tell you. You know, the holy prophets have been speaking to these things. Okay? Before, you know, before this day and age, the holy prophets have been telling Jake about, you know, the, the, um, the terrible power of Allah Shadja. Alright? And because he's not knocking niggas off left and right, or because they think that they're getting away with the things that they're doing, they continue to do it. Okay, and the number one prime example is Esau. Okay, which Esau, you know, as I mentioned, you know, and as the scriptures mention, you know, first and foremost, that Esau is about to get a swift kick in his ass, man. By your how about Shemiah was shot? Hey, but that doesn't mean and Jake's gonna get a swift kick in their ass too, man. You know, it says, um, "Be ye not deceived." The Most High, Yahweh, is not mocked. For that which a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay? Bind not one sin upon another, for in one thou shalt not go unpunished. Alright? And this is the time, and, and, and Jake don't realize, hey, look, when, when things start happening to you bit by bit, then you're going to realize that the scriptures are true. Alright? That's exactly what the Most High did with the, uh, the heart of Pharaoh. He hardened Pharaoh's heart so that his power and that um, that his name might be recognized. That they may know, that Pharaoh might know that he is the true and holy power, man. Okay? And that time is going to come, it says, that there, there should no man um, where, where have uh, um who had, who had perished being innocent or where were the righteous cut off? All right? So, we sit here, um, week, week in and week out, we hit these highways and the byways and hey, Jake believes, really Jake believes what they want to believe, but ultimately they believe what Esau tells them about the Most High, opposed to what the Most High has chosen people tell them about the Most High. You see? And there's going to be judgment for that as well. None of these things that Jake is doing is going to go unpunished. Even us as whole men of the Lord. You know, the things that we've done in our lives and the things that we have um, done since we've been a part of this ministry. Okay, which we turn over a new leaf, you know, through the spirit of power. Yahweh Shai put on that new man, but we're still gonna be judged. 
Okay, hey, the book of what is that? The book of uh, I believe First Peter. I believe the fifth chapter it said, or the, or the fourth chapter. It tells you that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? And then, like I mentioned, that's not only talking about Esau. Jake is going to age. It says, right before that, it says that his judgment is going to start at the house of Israel. It's going to start at the head of his people, man. Okay? And there, that, that time's coming very soon. And I just want to, to mention that. You know, it was on my spirit to bring that out. You know, and, um, because the people don't, they don't take your how about you shy seriously, man. As it says, what the law is slacked. There is not faith found among my people. Okay, there is not. It says the scripture says in the book of Ezra, it says he found the uh, the impieties to be without number. All right, or impieties, you know, tomato, tomato, which is the reverence. Uh, um, the impedes is the lack of reverence for the heavenly father. Why? Because he's not killing people right now on a mass scale. Because you, you feel like you're untouchable. You feel like the mo the, well, what you're doing is right. And that's a, hey, that's you no know, through the spirit, man. I want I want to get into that and Lord willing I'm able to get into it later. You know, and um where, where there's the scripture that these niggas and these Edomites, they they have a totally, totally wrong breakdown of when it tells you that with the most high all things are possible, which is a fact, man. That scripture it is it, it speaks for itself. But the way this world takes it, you know, they use it in a wicked manner, man. Because the Most High is not putting his hands on them right away. They feel like they can even twist the scriptures, man. It says, that they say, with all things the Most High are possible, and be straight up committing adultery. Or straight up worshiping different idols and, 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 and praying to these different gods. Thinking that that's, that's uh, helping their case and that the Most High is on their side behind that, man. Which is not a fact. The Most High don't deal with. Uh, it says the Most High have never drawn near unto the ungodly, man. That's what the Holy Scriptures say. He's never drawn near near to the ungodly. So all the things that you do in this lifetime, you will have to pay for. Playing with the Most High's name, trying to connect the Most High's name, and and, and um and and trying to connect the Scriptures. With your wicked deeds and make it seem like it's okay, there's gonna be a time of judgment, man. Okay? Hey, so Lord willing, I'm able to get into this a little bit further later on, you know, if the Spirit of the Most High permits it. You know, but Lord willing, this was edifying as well, man. You know, call Halayim unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhakodash, that were honors unto the elders and apostles. That taught this truth, taught us this truth, and that rule well and continue to rule well. Peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect. You know, the Akim sincerely doing the will of Yahweh Shai. That being said, I'm gonna say Shalom.